Prime time keeping you up to date around the clock. Here's tonight's WIS 7 at 7. The Richland County Sheriff's Department announced the arrest of Nathan McLaughlin in connection with the assault and death of his girlfriend. Deputies responded to a local hospital after the victim was transported by EMS. They were told she would not recover. McLaughlin is now charged with murder. Today, the Lexington Richland Alcohol and Drug Abuse Council came together to remember local overdose victims for their annual Black Balloon Awareness Day. In 2023, over 200 lives were lost to overdose. So officials take the time to remind the community that help is never out of reach. The USC men's basketball team hosting the Tennessee Volunteers tonight at Colonial Life Arena. This is what they're hoping the scene is going to be like when the game is over. This matchup comes with the concern of the possibility of fans storming the court. Of course, they don't want anyone to get hurt. Officials cite hefty fines and player and coach safety as top concerns for fans to resist this celebration. But I'm not sure they're going to be able to do that if the Gamecocks pull out this big win and the SEC championship tonight. Today, Justice has heard arguments in the challenge to the Education Scholarship Trust Fund program, also known as school vouchers, which would allow students below certain income thresholds to receive scholarships to put towards certain expenses. If passed, it would go into effect at the start of the next school year. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley has suspended her campaign in the race for the White House. In the Low Country today, she announced, uh, made that big announcement. It comes following a number of losses to former President Donald Trump on Super Tuesday. For more on what she had to say today, head to WISTV.com. The Supreme Court has set a date for oral arguments in Donald Trump's presidential immunity case. Justices will hear the arguments on April 25th. Trump's attorneys argue that he's immune from prosecution because he was acting as the president at the time. And space wasn't keeping these astronauts from voting in Super Tuesday. These pictures posted from the International Space Station show the astronauts, Jasmine and Lowell, casting their ballots. They encourage everyone to get out and cast their vote regardless of where they are. That is all for tonight's 7 at 7.